truly honored to introduce this woman. Um, I actually met Shawnee Benton Gibson when I was at a, at a critical transitional point in my life. Um, and I just knew it was, it, was, it was time for me to go deeper if I was gonna go higher. If I was gonna really step into what I believe God is calling me to do on this planet, there were some things that could not come with me. And I had the pleasure of being introduced to Shawnee. Um, I mean, our first session, I was in tears. <laughs> so, Shawnee is the co-founder and CEO of a leadership institute called, it's called Spirit of a Woman. So it's a group coaching program. Uh, it's also a rites of passage program. I mean, we've lost so many of our rituals, if you know what I mean. So she stands for, for really going back and respecting our tradition, our elders. Um, not only did I get healing over that uh, coaching uh, program, but I inherited a sister. This is just a their purpose. My life mission statement is faith and love are at the root of it all. I thank Shawnee for having me believe that. Now, this is just a testament to my faith and my love. This 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 event tonight. I'm going to read her vibe, but it, it, it's again just a fraction of who Shawnee is in this world. As I said, she's the co-founder and CEO of Spirit of a Woman, a leadership institute established in 2002 to educate, elevate, and affect positive and sustainable transformation in the lives of individuals, groups, families, and communities. Under Shawnee's leadership and vision, Spirit of a Woman offers innovative coaching, counseling, training experiences to individuals, groups, and organizations seeking to expand their power, purpose and impact in the world. Ms. Benton Gibson is a licensed practitioner with over 30 years of professional experience. She's also the co-founder of the ARIA Foundation, Advancement of Reproductive Innovation Through Artistry and Healing, which is created in memory of her eldest daughter, Shimoni Makiba Gibson, who passed away on October 6, 2019, due to complications associated with giving birth to her second child. Shawnee's expertise ranges from substance abuse, substance abuse prevention, treatment and recovery, child welfare, youth development, individual, family, and group counseling, trauma, grief, loss, and bereavement, women's health and leadership, birth equity, racial equity, social and restorative justice, and so much more. Yeah. Yeah. with great pleasure to invite Shawnee Benton Gibson to the stage. y'all decide whether that's true or not, you know, but thank you to everyone. I want to see faces in here because I haven't been, I'm, I'm going to go up here before I finish because I'm going to experience all of the, the power and the authority and the beauty and just the energy in this space, the high vibration that I'm going to walk away with and there's nothing y'all can do about it. Okay, well, 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 well. Oh my goodness. So what I want to talk about, and I need to move around because this is not my thing. It really isn't. Um, is a different kind of clap back, right? Y'all know what clap back is? Like, you heard folks like, I don't watch this show with the real housewives and the, they're folks who are like, they have like Popeye muscle and clap back. But tonight, oh, or this afternoon, I want to talk about a different type of clap back. 
So I just want to ask everybody to clap one time on three, and then I'll tell you why we're doing it. So one, two, three. All right, somebody messed it up. Who was that? <laughs> Clapping all late. So one of the things that Spirit gave me, and I always check in before I do things like this, is um, to share about the footprints that we all leave behind. Now, I'm not talking about the poem footprints, like most of us know that poem, like it's a famous poem. I'm talking about the fact, and you don't know we're eating, but when we're sitting in the space, we leave remnants of ourselves, residue, skin particles, hair particles, like our biology is left behind. And so one of the things that I wanted to speak about is the clapback that comes when we show up as our authentic selves and then live in our purpose, that there is a ripple effect. And I speak about the folk, this to the folks that I coach all the time, that whether we intend to do it or not, there is an impact called the butterfly effect when we show up somewhere, right? And I see nods, people are aware of this. And so when I leave my remnants behind, like the boys here, like sitting in the seat, just connecting, smiling, um, being with people, I want not to be remembered, but to have an impact that will propel you forward on your journey and your purpose. So I want you to clap one more time.